transphobia is linked and connected to Nazism. Now, I'm sure when people hear this, they're going to scoff and moan and whinge and all these sort of reactions you expect when uh, Nazism is brought up because, you know, a lot of people are sort of in denial that Nazism is still a problem. Um, but it's true, transphobia is a core part of Nazi ideology and beliefs about biology. Um, trans people were seen as untermensch along with uh, lots of elements of society um, because the Nazis held incorrect views about biology. They believed that men and women were the only things that existed, they believed that uh, genitalia determined your gender and there couldn't be anything else, and they saw trans people um, and trans identities and different genders as degenerate, and consequently saw them as people who needed to be extended to make their masters. Um, and you can sort of see the same thing in transphobia today. People who insist there's any two genders, who insist that trans people are invalid and have bi biological reality that denies their identity, who demand that trans people be seen as mentally ill and sort of removed from their own spaces, who refuse trans people access to basic public functions, like... Um, well, like bathrooms, which you, we take for granted, but trans people have been barred from for a long time and are still being withheld from. Um, and essentially, this all stems back to the Nazi far-right belief that trans people are invalid when they're not. Um, and if you don't believe me, um, well, I suppose that's your loss, really, because it's true. Um, there was an entire uh, library and f public facility of research for trans people um, LGBT+, plus, transgender ideas and theories, gender theories, sexuality, spectrums, all of these sort of uh, things in that are encompassed under sort of LGBT+, plus and queer uh, science. And the Nazis burnt it. They burnt it to the ground because they knew it represented a threat and uh, disagreement with Nazism. And obviously all that research was just gone because, you know, there was no computers. It was all handwritten, um, all printed in published uh, books. Um, with all that burnt, there was no, like, there's no science and there's no evidence to say the Nazis were wrong. Um, and consequently, um, you don't need to look hard to see that the Nazis abhorred trans people for the same reasons, um, we see transphobes do today. Uh, you see people on, um, Twitter and YouTube saying, oh, there's only two genders, uh, trans people are medically ill, they're retarded and stuff. Um, and it's all the same stuff the Nazis said. Literally, the same arguments the Nazis made in order to remove trans people from society. Um, and I think that's what people need to realise, that their um, loathing and their hatred and their ignorance about trans people is the same ignorance that was done over a century ago, um, and which fueled the Nazi hate machine towards trans people. Um, and I think that's really important, because people, um, when they're crowing on about um, how trans people aren't a, a medically accurate thing, or how transphobia is not a problem, they're the same arguments and the same people, the far right, um, the same arguments even the far right used a century ago. Um, I think that's why uh, we need to sort of wake up to the fact that trans people are treated terribly by society for reasons that aren't fair. That trans people are valid, that trans women are women, trans men are men, non-binaries are valid, all identities are real and valid, and we need to move on from the Nazi propaganda and the transphobic rhetoric that denies trans people a fair and equal place in society. Um, and ultimately, it's just um, tedious seeing arguments that were pulled out of the um, Third Reich um, being repeated today. Um, so really, transphobia and Nazism, they're quite linked. Um, and transphobes who deny this are doing more to aid the far right than they realise. Um, and if you're trans and watching this, uh, you are beautiful. <laughs> That's just a fact. Adios.